Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So it's been a while since I've done an update. Um, I'm really sorry for that. Um, things sort of went a bit pear-shaped over the sort of holidays um, and my health hasn't been great either. But I thought I would just um, come on today cat um, and uh, just you know have a chat with you and tell you how I've been doing what's been going on and um, yeah so I'm just gonna jump into it so the last time that I weighed in was Christmas Eve now I think I spoke to you the last time I spoke to you was the week before so that week, the week before Christmas, I lost two and a half pounds, which took me to, I needed half a pound for my five and a half stone award. Um, so yeah, now then I weighed in on Christmas Eve, which wasn't quite a week, um, and I stayed the same. So, you know, I was really happy with that. It hadn't been a full week. I would have loved the half a pound, um, but yeah. It didn't happen but I didn't gain either so then after Christmas then my next way in would have been the um, 2nd of January Um I didn't make it I like I said um, just now my health has been really bad um, and I didn't make it and I didn't really weigh either then this Tuesday again I didn't make it you know my health is just making it impossible at the moment um you know but i'm still on plan and i'm still going um i weighed on my scales um what day are we today we're thursday today so i weighed on my scales on tuesday when i got up and um it said half a pound on which i can live with you know there was christmas and new year yeah you know i stayed on plan as much as i could um, I followed the guidelines in my Christmas video, which, um, you know, I'm going to have a look at that. But yeah, I stayed on sort of par with what I said. Um, but <laughs> Christmas Day, um, it didn't end up going anyway. I was I was really, really ill. I couldn't walk. I was in so much pain. Um, sometimes I guess when it goes down my legs and in my hips, and I just couldn't, I just couldn't walk. And you know, I struggled and I was in tears and I was getting ready. And my husband said, you know what? We're not going anyway. So it didn't go anyway. So we didn't have Christmas dinner or anything um, that day, but we were really lucky that my parents brought us up um, Christmas dinners. So we didn't completely um, lose out then. <laughs> um, but you know, it was nice spending time with my husband in the house. I did spend a lot of it in bed, um, but you know, that's the reality of chronic illness. Um, sometimes it just wipes you out for, you know, and it doesn't know what day it is. It doesn't know what time of year it is. You know, it just strikes. And sometimes it's really bad and sometimes it's, you know, you can cope with it. And that day and Boxing Day, I just couldn't cope. Um, <clears throat> So I did relatively stay on plan. I didn't go massively off plan. I had my chocolates um, and I was on track up until I think it was like the Wednesday, I think. And um, we had Christmas presents delivered and there was chocolates and that. And, you know, I'm not going to go into that because it's over and done with now. Um, but yeah, uh, then there was New Year's. We went down my parents and I had a few chocolates down there. Um, so, yeah, you know. I probably did gain something, um, but you know, to step on the scales on Tuesday on my scales in the house and only put on half a pound, you know, I'm happy with that. So if I could get a pound off this week and fingers crossed, I really, really hope I can make it to group this week. Um, and you know, to get a, if I get a pound by my scales, I don't know whether it's going to be the same for um, Slimming World scales, but you know, that's what mine says. So if I could get that pound, then I'd get my five and a half stone award. Um, again, I'm really, really lucky that I've got such an amazing consultant. Um, the last two weeks, I've forgotten to message her, like I send her a message on WhatsApp, just to say that I won't be there until sort of like later in the afternoon because 
I don't get up and then I forget and you know she messaged me on Tuesday messaged me back on Tuesday which I thought was really really lovely she said um, you know if I know if I don't see you then you're not well enough and to take my time and I was a bit taken aback with that not in a bad way you know it was just you know I was really pleased to say to see her say that um, you know it meant a lot to me and it also you know because of my anxiety I was stressing about it and I didn't know what to do um, but seeing her say that made me feel a lot better so yeah it's nice knowing that I've got support from you know everywhere so I am gonna try try my hardest but you know I just can't physically drive at the moment so I don't know maybe I'll get a taxi or something but um, yeah I, I don't want to leave it three weeks um, but I am still on plan and still going so that's that out of the way um i wanted to show you and you've probably seen um seen these on other people's videos but when i went on christmas eve i got this and it was just um a free gift that slimming world were giving out um between new year and chris no yeah between christmas and new year sorry um and it's just a booklet full of little things and it looks a bit like it does in the journal which is this one um i swear by this um you can use the, you can use the group ones these are the group ones um i just get it from group cuz oh i don't know if you can see they're 4 95 I just get mine from there because it's quick and easy and I can just grab one when mine's running out. But you can get them in lots of lots of different places online. There's lots of really, really good groups, um, groups, pages, um, businesses on Instagram, um, you know, that actually sell these um, planners. And I wouldn't be without mine because I did stop writing in it um, for a few weeks and I found that I struggled more so it keeps me focused so mine is actually coming to the end now so i've got um i think i've got another week after this week left so i need to get another one um but this one so if you look inside you've got um it just says it's kind of the same in the beginning of the journal but what this is is it's just sort of um giving you more information that's in your books really so you know it just says um talking about free food um what to do you know how to swap things so that you're getting free food in and speed foods and obviously then to change your way of thinking um you know it's really really good like it says here um, nothing is banned it's all about balance which it is and you know that's why I love Slimming World so much is because you can have anything anything that you want um, you can have but you just need to incorporate it into your sins or you know if you fancy a meal um, you know if your favorite meal for example is I don't know cheeseburger chips and beans and chips cheese and beans from the takeaway um you could then you could have it from the takeaway um but that would probably go over your sins for the day and you'd need a couple of days sins or you could make your own for example like i've done that before i'll make chips in the active fry with fry light which are free i'll use my healthy extra a of cheese and then i'll put beans on the top so that's chips cheese and beans and then for the burger you can use like i've used wraps before when i've not had rolls but you could use your healthy extra b for a wholemeal roll use the slimming world burgers which are free and then you could put um you know perhaps you could save some of your healthy extra a cheese from the chips to put on your burger if you want a cheeseburger and then put you know tomatoes on onion etc and some sins for you know mayonnaise or tomato sauce or something so you know like it says in this book i'll show you it says they you know it's about balancing and it's so so true um but yeah so i haven't um filled anything in in this at all yet so it's like giving you like the next four weeks um because I've got my journal, that's what I use. So maybe once my journal runs out, um, I'll purchase another one. Excuse me, I'll purchase another one, but uh, perhaps then I'll fill this one in then for the next 
four weeks and I've got my journal then ready. So basically it's just got your weeks, let me see. There we are. So it's got week one there. And it's just got um, what your weight loss aim is, what your daily sin allowance is, key things happening, body magic, what you're going to do to stay on track, um, you know, and then what might get in the way. And these sort of questions are in the journal, um, which is really, really good. And then you've got your meal planner. There you go. And then you can just plan. And then if, if it gives you something to reflect on. And it does that for four weeks. And then at the end, oops, then it's talking about different meals and, you know, breakfasts and um, giving you recipes. There's a pizza top chicken in you, which looks really, really good. Um, there's that one there. Um, so, yeah, this was a really, really, um, you know, helpful um booklet yes you know i didn't look at it really very much between christmas and new year and um, mostly because i was um pretty poorly um but i will definitely be using this now within when my journal runs out in the next four weeks so that's a good um booklet to have i'm not sure if you can still get them if they're still giving them out a group because i haven't been in the new year yet which i know sounds really bad but you know i just physically can't can't do it um so yeah that's that really that's all to do with my weight loss and it's taken me 11 minutes to tell you all that um but yeah you know i'm still battling on some days are harder than others um you know i'm having to batch cook a lot um which you know is good um you know i made a campfire stew uh last week last um yeah, it would have been in last week. I link my food diaries up here somewhere. Um, but yeah, I've put them all on my channel. Um, the campfire stew was really, really good. Um, it was quick and it was easy. The only things that needed chopping was a pepper and an onion, I believe, if I'm remembering. Um, or it was two peppers. Um, you know, I am having to ask my husband to help me with chopping um, and preparing veg because, you know, my hands and... Um, my arms and to be honest it goes all the way up into my shoulders and my neck when I'm when I'm trying to chop so you know I'm getting help with that so that was and that was really really nice sin free the recipe is um I got mine from um online somewhere um yeah so that was really really good and I had that quite a few days it made quite a lot so I had it with different things um I what else did I make um i made oh yes i've made taco like the taco feast that's really really good it's, i think it's the first time i've made it but i have tried it before um but what i did is i um got my husband to help again and um chopped up lots of different veg so you know you only put like a pepper and an onion in but i put lots of different veg, um speed food in to get my speed food up um, so I've had that as um, taco feast I've had it on its own um, and I'm gonna have actually have it tonight with wedges and I'm gonna do it the taco feast way so yeah I'm looking forward to that gonna plan out some more meals I'm just looking at things that are easy if it calls for like chopped veg I'm looking to get prepared veg more now and I know it's more expensive but you know I can't when I can't chop the veg, it's so much easier just to open a bag and chuck it in on whatever I'm doing. So, yeah, um, weight loss wise, like I said, um, it said on my scales that I put on half a pound. So I'm going to go with that until I'm able to get to group. So, yeah, that's that. I hope you were all doing really, really well. And I hope that, you know, you had a really good Christmas and a lovely new year and that you're all raring to go. Um, you know, have any of you been struggling like I have? Um, you know, yesterday I had a day where I was struggling to stay on track so I dealt with it by making a really big tea and it was all free on plan loads of speed I had protein and um, you know it really did help because I was so close to just thinking right I'm just gonna have takeaway um, 
but I didn't so that's a that's a win for me um yeah and you know if you are struggling you're not alone drop me a message I'm always you know I always reply to any messages and comments sometimes it might take me a while but I will always reply you know whether it's on here on Instagram I will reply to you so don't think that you know if I haven't replied to you within a day I'm not ignoring you it's just that sometimes it takes me a little while um but yeah so that's that health wise like I said I've been really poorly um I'm having flares or I don't know um but I had some good news yesterday I had a letter come through the post saying that my um they could offer me an appointment with um, a pain specialist so that's I've been waiting since August for that so I've still got to wait another month but you know I've got the appointment I know what's going on now um I've got it it is a little way away from me so I'm hoping that my husband can get the time off work to take me um because it's not even somewhere where I can get a taxi or you know worse come to worse I can drive myself um but my parents have said that they will take me if I need to if they if I need their help so yeah I'm still waiting now on two appointments so my rheumatologist appointment and for the hand surgeon for the lump in my wrist I don't know if you can see it but it's it doesn't go down these days it's always always up and it's really really sore um so hopefully I won't be waiting too much longer I'm also waiting for my decision for my ESA. I know I haven't spoken, I haven't done an update or spoken about that since, um, well, since be way before Christmas. But on the 19th of December, I had my face-to-face -face appointment with ESA, which if you've seen any of my other update videos, you've seen that I've been really, really worried about. I've been really, really anxious for the about three or four days before I was just, I was so ill, um, I like with anxiety, when I get anxiety, I'm sick sometimes, um, but I get sort of a dodgy belly um, and, um, you know, panic attacks and things. And I was really, really ill and for the, you know, and I was in a lot of pain and, you know, I'm in pain every single day. Um, but, you know, the lady that I saw was so, so lovely. You know, they were all really, really good um they were lovely they you know my husband came in with me and um you know he answered lots of questions for me you know i did get quite emotional um you know it does drag things back up um but you know they need to know these things in order to be able to make a decision and be able to help you so you know if anybody is going to go through the esa procedure and they've got a face to face and you're worrying and you're nervous and you've got anxiety you know I know it's easier said than done because you know people were telling me you know it'll be fine it'll be okay but I was I was really really my anxiety was sky high because of it um but it wasn't it was nowhere near as bad as I thought it would be you know like I said you know the lady was lovely she was so calming and she completely understood she took she I took all my um evidence with me um you know letters I've had from the hospital that I'm waiting for referrals on different things and you know she said that she could see I was in a lot of pain that day and I was quite anxious um you know and I wasn't in there very long um you know we just had a chat about things she went through my form I filled in and in the end she said look you know just go on home because it was like just before Christmas she said go on home I'll sort everything out on my end you know try and have a nice Christmas and um, you should do in a few weeks obviously it, it's been over the Christmas period so you know I'm still waiting but um, you know the whole um, the whole interview itself was you know a positive experience then um you know i did cry a lot and you know in on the way home in the car um my husband drove i cried all the way home um but you know it's done now and what i'm trying to say again is you know if anybody is worrying about it please feel free to send me a message leave a comment and we can have a private message or contact me on instagram um which will be linked all down below my information um, on Twitter or anything because I know how 
bad I felt going into it and if I can help anybody you know that that would mean a lot to me um so yeah please try not to worry um yes yeah, but I will update you as soon as I get any more letters um hopefully I won't be waiting too much longer um you know I have been quite in a high anxiety state the last few days I don't really know why um perhaps it's sort of unconsciously I'm worrying about this letter and different things and yeah I've just been a bit of a mess the last few days really don't know why but you know that's what happens um you know I've got I had for breakfast this morning I had eggs and spinach with tinned tomatoes and some ham and my mother brought me up a um what they called they the pasties that you make with the bee wrap the weight watcher wraps so she brought me one of those up so i'm gonna have that for my lunch with some beans and some fried mushrooms and onion and different things so i'm gonna have that and i've got taco feast tonight so yeah i'm really looking forward to that i just gotta take my time and know that i've got to ask for help which is really hard for me it's something that has been really really hard for me throughout my life i don't like asking for help um you know it's hard but i got to realize there's no shame in asking for help and you know i think that is what has made me struggle a lot is because I, I don't ask for help um but over the last sort of month or two i have been doing it a lot more and you know it is helping i'm still not well you know my anxiety and depression has still been really bad um and my physical health has been bad but i've had the help to sort of carry on if that makes sense um so yeah that's that um i will update you next week on whether i've been able to get to group or not i really really hope i can um because i've not been for a couple of weeks but like i said my consultant is amazing you know she gets in contact with me regularly um you know and she said you know take your time please take your time you know don't stress yourself out um, you know, if I can't get there, I can't get there, you know, it's not as if I'm, I'm in the situation where I've eaten bad food all week and I know I'm going to have a gain. It's not that, it's just that I just can't get out. Um, but yeah, you know, and in situations like this, if anybody is in the same situation, it really does help to surround yourself with a supportive network. Um, you know, I'm so, so lucky that, you know, my husband is so supportive and helpful, you know, and he works full time, so he works really hard and, um, you know, he's my rock really and, you know, my parents and everybody else and my consultant, it's just, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm just really, what I'm trying to say is I'm really, really thankful. So I'm going to leave it there because I think I've rabbited on way too much um i'm gonna try and get these videos out sooner so they're not so long um but you know as always thank you to everybody for watching this video it really really does mean so much to me um you know to see people watching my videos leaving comments leaving likes you know everything like that it gives me a boost and you know i really enjoy doing these videos and you know these community this community that we've got online because you know because of my anxiety and my bad social anxiety you know f from week to week i don't really see anybody you know i see my family and it's nice to have excuse me let me just have a drink oh um it's nice to have conversations with you guys here so yeah um like i said thank you so so much for watching um hi to all my new subscribers it's really really lovely to have you here and hi to everybody who has stuck with me um you know when i've not been uploading regularly um but if you've been here a while you know that that happens with me sometimes but you know i'm still filming behind the background i've got a few things planned which is really good um but yeah thank you so so much if you're not subscribed already you know press that button down below and come along on my journey with me we can support each other through our journeys ups and downs and everything in between and you know i'm always here if you want any help advice or um you know 
just a chat or just somebody to listen I'm here so yeah I'm gonna go now guys I'm gonna go now guys um you know I really really do appreciate every single one of you and um as a thank you I am going to be doing a giveaway if and when I get to 500 subscribers because I'm on about 430 ish now um or just below so yeah you know I I really want to give something back so yeah thank you so so much again <laughs> I know I'm rambling and I will see you in my next one thank you bye guys